Finally, I have launched this particular course. I have been working on this for the last seven months and finally I completed last week and it's launched. You guys can come and you can take it. And I want you to go through this entire modules which we have here. I want you to watch the video that what are you exactly going to build because it took me seven months and I tried my best to include all the best technology which you have to learn as a Web3 developer. So if you're a completely beginner and you don't know anything about the Web3 development, then this is the course for you. We have four modules. In the fourth module, I have talked about the important setup you have to do. So that's the first module we have. Here you can see project setup. The first module will cover the important setup you have to do. So if you're a completely beginner, you don't know anything about the Web3 development or Web2 development. You just want to learn and build project. So this will teach you everything. So in the first module, we're going to do all the important setup. You can see what are the modules we have in the first video, first section. In the second session, you're going to learn about the most important programming language as a becoming a blockchain developer because you have to learn about the solid smart contract, how to write a smart contract. So in the second module, we're going to learn everything about the smart contract. What are the syntax we have? What are the modules we have? How we can call the function? What is the external? What is calling the external contract? How we can call the contract on behalf of another contract? How we can do the modification inside a function called local variable, external variable, private variable? How we can make one contract dependent on another so we can be, be, uh, build a complex logic where the different contract will interact in a single transaction. So that's all we're going to cover. So that's why I've included close to 60 videos in the second module and that will give you amazing learning you will master every single thing all the things about the solidity smart contract and what are the things we have the status structure everything and all that's the second module in the third module we have the project know a little bit about the web3 development or if you have a good hand with the next js or you know how react framework work how packages work you know how html css javascript tailwind css work then you can jump straight away onto the project but if you're a completely beginner we have the fourth module for that and here you can see we have the crash courses most important technology which you have to know as a web3 developer because in this particular course i try to focus as a full stack blockchain developer so you're going to write the smart contract you're going to connect the smart contract with the blockchains you're going to build the connections the bridge between those so the data can transfer seamlessly and you're going to use the front end tools so here we have the crash course on html where we're going to learn about the important syntax we're going to learn about the css we're going to learn about the react and next.js and in that i'm going to talk about the important hooks which we're going to use in our project so we have a lot of like context management we have use effect use hook use ref tons of things we have that's all we're going to learn about in this then we have the tailwind because this project is entirely dependent on tailwind so you have to be good in tailwind so this will teach you and make you master in Telvin because we're going to use all the possible configuration utility models and how we can make a group class so we can target a particular element and provide that. So that's the one we have. Then we have the hardhat course. In that, we're going to learn about every single thing about the hardhat. So hardhat, as you all know that, one of the powerful tools when it's come to smart contract development, when it's come to testing or building a Web3 app. So this will teach you that how you can use hardhat in any project what are the setups you have to do and even how you can test those contract which you will build in your local environment using the mocha and chai library so this one is really powerful that's why i have given so much emphasis so make sure that's what we learn here then we have the metamask setup that how you can set up the metamask in the browser how you can connect different blockchains because right now we have 40 plus blockchains how you can connect each blockchain with the metamask and if you want to work with the local nodes like using the hardware framework or truffle how you can do the configuration in terms of local host and chain id rpc world importing the account so that's all we're going to learn about it in this metamask crash course and at the end in this module we'll learn about the most important third web providers so what are the providers we have right now because without provider you cannot be able to build scalable application because not all the time you're going to run the node in your computer because that's a lot of energy and you have to keep your application running and that's not good user friendly so we have different providers which take the works away from us as a developer and we can simply utilize them so you're going to learn about like six to seven web3 provider in depth and we're going to use one of the provider which allow us to connect with the blockchain and we're going to upload the entire data to the ipfs through the provider which we're going to use in the product so these are the crash courses you will have and again if you cover this if you're totally beginner you will master almost every single thing and you can build any type of application now in the in the third module in the in the project we have tons of things 
tons of things we have so first we're going to learn about the project setup we're going to install every single packages every single modules every single libraries which we're going to use we're going to do the manual configuration and build the like data structure i'll show you the board way that how you can structure everything from scratch and how you can start with the starter file so you will have the both on the side then we're going to build the smart contract for the nft marketplace and it's going to be the biggest one the biggest one because the smart contract is not just like a simple one there's a lot of things that are happening in this particular smart contract we're going to allow reselling we're going to allow bidding we're going to allow allowing the user to buy the nft using the native token so the way i have designed this entire marketplace is that user will have two options to buy the nft first they can use the native token or native currency of any blockchains if you are deploying this marketplace to the ethereum so they can use ether to buy the nft or if you're deploying to polygon they can use poly like mighty to buy the nft but instead of that we have also included that they can use their native platform token so for example i have launched this particular marketplace and this particular market has a erc20 token so what they can do they can buy the erc20 token on the platform and they can use that token to buy the nft so that's the feature we have included they can do the bidding and they can see all the data is visible apart from that we're going to build an admin panel so if you have launched this you can easily be able to monitor every single data that how many nft got created what are the nft for listed what type of nft we have for audio video and like audio video and image then you can able to see the see the let's say like recent recent nfts created you can able to see the biddings you can able to see the like how many transfer and how many feedbacks you have got how many doji initiation you have got so this one is, this project is absolutely amazing that will teach you every single thing which you have to know about the web3 development from start to end so it took me 7 month i'll give my best i gave my all the knowledge which i have gained for last 3 years being in the industry in this particular course and i have been working on for the quite long. so i would encourage you that if you really want to master web3 development and understand how to build a web3 app being a completely beginner or a mediocre developer or advanced developer then you can simply consider this so that's the only thing i want to give you a quick overview that what are the things you going to get it so that's the only thing from my end so let's see you in the course where we going to build this amazing project so let's start with that